Hi everyone, this is Coach D, and today I have another awesome drill for you. Also got the new gear going. We've got the Coach D logo here with Be an Encourager. Make sure your number one role is to encourage these kids day in, day out. Let's rock and roll with this one. This one, we are working on leading the receiver. So this is a quarterback drill. Okay, you can also take it to level two and turn it into a wide receiver drill if you'd like. But let's start off with a quarterback drill. All right, let's set it up for you. First of all, I have a nice little quarterback station here with a couple of, of footballs. I need to have three footballs ready to go. Okay, ready to go. If I don't have three footballs, we can adjust and, and work it out a little bit, but I'd like to have three footballs if possible, all right? I've cut the field into three levels, right? Sometimes when we're watching football, we see like the, the five yard, the 10 yard, the 20 yard passes, right? So what we see on the orange is about, let's say three to five yards away. Then the next level, the blue, is about five to seven yards. Let's say seven, a little bit further, depending on your age group. And then my red, that's about 10, 15, could be even 20 yards away. So depending on your age group, you wanna mix that up. Now, this is the sweet spot. This is where, in between these two cones, here and here, is where the wide receiver is going to catch the ball. It's where you want to lead your receiver into. Okay, so when you're throwing the ball, you want to throw it in between these cones. Boom, boom. Now, what I've done is on the other side, I have a nice little cone here for, let's say, three wide receivers here. And then on this side, I'd have three wide receivers here and then three wide receivers here right? So you're not throwing to the same person here, then they zigzag up here, then they zigzag up there. That is something you can do if you would like, but otherwise, because this is a quarterback drill and we want fast reps, I'm literally going to, right when I call ready go, this person runs and I throw it about right here so that they can catch it in between the cones. Boom. Right when they catch it, this next person goes and clear across, and then I throw the next football in between this cone. And then right after they catch it, this next one runs, and I throw it in between these cones. So really what I'm doing as a quarterback is I'm ready, go, throw, throw, throw. So your assistant coach or a parent or someone needs to be right here fielding those balls getting ready so that they can quickly hand it to that quarterback. The goal is for them to start working on their timing. See, I wanna throw the ball, depending on the speed of the wide receiver, right when they're about here, so that when they get here, they can catch the ball. See, if I wait for them to get in the line, right, in between the cones to throw the ball, what happens? Exactly, they have to stop, then they get tackled, right? Their, their flags get pulled, no. So this is all about leading the receiver. It's as simple as that. So let me show you real quick how it works. You guys know, but let me show you. I have a line of receivers right here. Line of receivers back here. Ready, go. I go half speed first, catch the ball. Now again, the quarterback throws it about right here so that boom, when I get here, I can catch that ball and keep running. All right, so that's nice. Immediately when they catch that ball, this one starts running. <laughs> Quarterback throw, boom. I catch it here, right? And then immediately, right away. <laughs> so, when you go full speed, it goes pretty quick, right? If you think about the combine, right? The combine, when they're, they're actually out there and they're doing these drills, it's, it's quick, it's rapid. So I'm, boom, next football, boom, next football, boom, right? Because I want them to start making those decisions quickly. You know, in most leagues, we have about seven seconds before we get a penalty or it's a dead ball. So they have seven seconds to make that decision. But a lot of times there's a rusher coming, so I need to be able to be quick, decisive, move around, boom. So take it to the next level and feel that out. But this is a great way, boom, 
right? Get them running different directions so I can get comfortable. Now, let's go level two. Level two is I still have my three balls. I still have my station here, right? But maybe I'm gonna incorporate a little bit more of the wide receiver thing. So now I'm gonna have one wide receiver start, let's say right here, line of scrimmage. Ready, go. They throw the ball, I catch it, drop it. Then I come back this way, catch it, drop it. Catch it, drop it. So that is an excellent drill for your wide receiver and your quarterbacks to start building that relationship, right? So they can start really feeling out the timing. Okay, how fast, right? How do they cut across the field? It also helps the wide receiver catch on this side, and then they have to catch over here on this side, and then they catch on this side. And it's an awesome opportunity for you to be coaching in the moment to make sure that they're catching the right way right? So these are all the things that you want to make sure that you're doing with your team as they're running through these drills, both with the quarterback, right? Make sure that their form is correct. And I have other videos for that. And we're also working on our wide receiver. So this is leading your receivers, helping your quarterbacks get a little bit more accurate and work on their timing. Look, this is Coach D. If you like what you see, you know what to do. All right. Comment, subscribe, like, share, all that great stuff. If you're looking for playbooks, go to flag football with coachd.com and I've got it there for you. We've just released both our full playbook that has 120 plays and also age-based custom playbooks. That means if you're coaching fourth and fifth graders, we've got 24 plays specific for that age group along with eight practice schedules. That means you literally don't have to think about what's going on in that practice. It's there for you. And that's it. Look, we will see you all over social media and we'll see you in the next video. Take care.
And we are also on all other social media platforms. We are doing it this year. So make sure you're following us, liking, commenting all across the board. We are encouraging greatness all day, every day. We'll see you next time.